Alright, so this will be the reassembly video. So, uh, you have all your pieces. First, what you're going to do is you're going to take the long silver tube, and then you're going to put this plunger type thing in it. You should put it about that far in. You can take your spring, put that in, like so. Then, what you're going to do, you're going to take this other, the second plunger piece. That, and then you can take this and put it on the end, and you're just gonna try and get it in like three threads. You gotta push while you're doing this. You gotta push it in, and then you're gonna go back to the little trick, two little screwdrivers. I'm just gonna turn it to the right. Not working for me. Allen wrenches are probably a better choice. So, because you get it in a flat and then you can just grab it like a screwdriver and you can just turn it. You want to make sure that's pretty snug. You don't want to overdo it. Alright, so there you have that part. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this rod thing. I'm going to put this in the back. Um, and be careful, you have to line this up. It's kind of annoying. So you just gotta. Oh, what's this part? Yeah. You're probably gonna need a flashlight. And my flashlight's missing. Okay, that's really annoying. All right, so now that's in, take the spring, put the spring on, and you can take this piece. Now, first, you're going to take the bolt, put the bolt on backwards. dumb now. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece, and um, it's kind of tricky how they did it, but you're going to just, you're going to really have to just line it up. So, this piece, the bolt, Yep, my gun just fell off the wall. That is a pain in the ass right there. God. well, I don't give a shit. Alright, back to the video. Alright. Then what you're gonna do is there's these... I don't know why it's being a pain in the ass for me. But you gotta make sure it's all lined up, which is really annoying. So you gotta have this line right here in line with the bottom part. And then you're gonna have this upside down. Just like that. And um, it should lock all together. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this screw thing and you're going to put it in the bottom like that
And you really need to make sure it stays all together or those stupid little gold things are going to pop out. I think mine did. No, they didn't. Alright, so that's all together. Um, it really shouldn't move around a lot. If it does, you just need to tighten it down more. Alright, and then there's this little pin. Um, for the pin, it needs to look like this, and you're just going to drop it down inside. And then when you have the uh, other metal piece, you're just going to put this in like this. Put the bolt up, then the bolt down. Alright. Then this piece, bolt up, trigger in, like so. that in and push the bolt back down to lock it in place. Take these two screws. You can just test it. All right. What you gonna do? This piece. All right. So now I sort of just screw this part in. Um, it was like 15 minutes long, so I just have this last part just. Uh, and double speed. So right now I'm just sort of lining it all up. And then there's a mini little screw. This holds um, your outer barrel onto your back piece or whatever it is. Um, so this keeps it all uh, situated, I guess. And so that's what keeps it from turning if yours is a little too loose. So I put that screw back in. And then, uh, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh, and then uh, you put the orange chip on. Um, make sure your barrel, if it's not screwing on, that means your barrel's caught on it. If you screw it in, you're really going to mess up your barrel. So uh, don't force that going on. And then uh, basically you just put the gun back on and uh, attach it the way you would by turning in the two screws at the bottom. And um, you're done.